ready to master the waves of medical device product development? Well, wax up your surfboard because you are listening to Inspired by Amua. And here is your medical device product development expert, that Hawaiian-hearted hostess who will help you hang 10, Megan Alonso. And aloha! You're listening to Inspired by Amua, where we help you master the waves of medical product development. Each week, we interview guests that educate, guide, and inspire to give you and your product the skills that you need to hang 10. If this is your first time listening, Amua is spelled I-M-U-A, and it's a Hawaiian word. It means to advance forward with passion despite rough waves. There are plenty of those in the medical device industry. So keep listening because we've got you covered. So my guests today are a dynamic duo. They give busy entrepreneurs probably the best gift that anybody could possibly ever receive. That's empowering them to to lead a healthy lifestyle while running a business. That's pretty tough most of the time. So they guide hundreds through prioritizing everyday decisions that put their health first so then they can change the world with their products. They have a special treat, especially for those guys listening in today. So if you head on over to the website, truechallenge.com slash webinar, they'll let you in on just a few of their little secrets. So without further ado, let's welcome Nicholas and Amanda Bayerly. Are you guys ready to hang 10? We We are. are. Thank you so much for having us on. You're welcome. Well, thanks for being here. So besides that little bit in the intro, dive a little bit deeper and and. Tell us how exactly you help entrepreneurs in their busy lives. Yeah, so we really help, you know, specifically men, um, but entrepreneurs really up level their life by making health a priority in their life. You know, we believe that your health is your greatest wealth and to um, really do well in all things, you need to have your health as a priority. It's, you know, you can only um, really control a few things in life and your health, you actually can control that. And so, you know, how you do one thing is how you do everything. And we believe that, you know, really creating a healthy foundation for your life by, you know, healthy habits and, um, you know, being fit and healthy, it it creates a ripple effect in every area of your life. And, you know, as entrepreneurs, as business people, when, um, you're taking care of yourself and you respect yourself, other people respect you and you're actually looked at more as a leader. So, you know, that, that's what we do. We've been able to coach, you know, a a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of people over the past couple of years and, and see them become more productive, more confident and really uh, get in the best shape of their life. Mm -hmm. So what are the, I'm sure you see all kinds of excuses and challenges for people that just put that on the back burner. And sometimes it just happens over time, but what, what are some of the biggest things you see that people finally break down and they're like, Hey, all right, I really need some help. Yeah. So usually, sadly, it usually takes some type of tragedy to happen, you know, some pattern interrupt in their life to get them to change. And, and so people think it's a bad thing when they have an external manifestation of ill health or bad health because they are like, Oh my gosh, like, like for me, I was 60 pounds overweight. So that was an external manifestation that I had some unhealthy habits and I wasn't able to control my life. But that was actually really lucky for me because it was I was able to see the bad habits and th- the things I was doing wrong based off the results I was getting. Right. So it's a- almost worse for mm-hmm. someone who is able to be completely unhealthy on the inside, but it doesn't fully manifest in front of everyone on the outside. And so one of the biggest things that people go through is they realize that every area of their life that they really care about at the end of the day. The only thing that if they if anything could happen in their entire life, they would draw up the story. They'd realize and we can show them on paper that they can actually improve those areas of their life through increasing their health. So it all comes down to value for them where if I told you or anyone on the show, if anyone has a medical device or if anyone's trying to raise money, which I'm sure people always want to raise money or make money. But if, oh, if yeah. I were to tell you, <laughs> I'll give you $300 million if you follow my plan of health for 10 years, do you, would you do it? Oh yeah. 
I just naturally take care of so, my health like, too. <laughs> but if, if you're able to do that, then there's no reason not to. If there's a value on the other side of the health, greater than the yeah. struggle that you have to go through and the obstacles that you, that you have to overcome, then anyone will do it. Sadly, people don't see the result from where they're at now. And that's why we were around, right? We're showing people exactly what the return on their investment's going to be. And a lot of times it's far greater than $300 million. So if you would do it for $300 million, then that just means that obviously you can see the return on your investment. You know, in 10 years, if I follow this health plan, if I get in the gym this much, if I drink this much water, if I breathe this way, if I stretch this way, I'm going to get $300 million. And if that was paid out to your monthly, especially, because then you could see it in your bank account every single month if money or comfort or raising money is, is something that you want, then it's easy to see that as long as there's a big enough tie, a big enough benefit for yourself at the end of the day, that you'll do anything to get that. And so what we show is that you increase your business, you increase your relationships, you increase your leadership abilities, you increase your energy and productivity all through this one thing, and it's called health. And so it's the greatest investment you could ever make. And a lot of times it adds up to far greater uh, of success or um, something that you can have that's even greater than money, lifestyle, that's worth a lot more than $300 million. Mm -hmm. And speaking of raising money, there's been a lot of studies that – show when you're in front of investors or you're courting investors, I should say, there's a lot to be said that is unsaid, like just the way you come across your personality, your body language and your appearance. And that, that is a huge thing. And so if, if you're not healthy looking that, that can be a loss for you in many times, many times. Yeah, I completely agree with that. It's we've seen it a lot and it's unfortunate. So what when when clients work with you, walk me through your program. Yeah, so first, you know, we get on a call with them to pre qualify. Um, they fill out a form before we even talk. You know, we wanna make sure that our clients are, you know, we don't just take on anyone. We, we take on a specific, um, person who is motivated, who's driven, who, you know, either has a successful business or, you know, works in corporate. And we want to make sure that they're, they're ready for that change. You know, they're ready to put in the work. Um, so, you know, with that, we do a coaching call every two weeks. Um, it's already pre-booked, you know, from the moment that they join our program, you know, let's say when, Wednesday at five o'clock every two weeks, we hop on, you know, a phone call or a Skype session and we, we talk, you know, Nicholas actually coaches all of our clients. Um, he's an amazing, amazing coach. Um, I honestly, you know, being his wife, I can say that, um, he's very, very gifted in like the realm of Tony Robbins, you know, Tony Robbins is really able to connect with people, being able to coach them and create a pattern interrupt in their life. And Nicholas has that power. Um, and I know that because he's been coaching me for the past five years. He's actually the one who coached me to get in amazing mm -hmm. shape. So I do all of uh, the back end work for the most part on creating the meal plans for our clients, creating the workout programs for them. Um, but Nicholas does all of the coaching because that is his strength. That's his gift. And, um, you know, we have some other coaches as well. But, you know, the people that we specifically work with, uh, that's what we do. And we'd like to create this culture of really being able to. Uh, keep our clients accountable, you know, being able to have that support system, those people there that are pushing you and challenging you and encouraging you every single day to do what you said you were going to do. You know, we don't just say, Hey, here's the program. And then we don't talk to them for two weeks. We actually check in on them. We have a Facebook group that we post in daily. Uh, we're very big in the Facebook group. Every Monday, people post their goals for the week. Every Friday, we post our updates, our check-ins, our wins for the week. So it's very interactive. It's very, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one because, you know, that creates the greatest transformation in people's lives. You know, being able to have that six to 12 months of, um, creating new habits of, you know, learning and growing and, uh, really l learning the aspects of how to live a healthy lifestyle, whether they're traveling or, you know, they're in a different country or whatever it may be. Um, our clients, you know, live very busy lifestyles. So how to incorporate a healthy lifestyle into their busy schedule. And it's awesome seeing their confidence as well, mm -hmm. just boost through the roof as they're, maybe they're losing body fat and they're enjoying that or they're 
feeling better about themselves or the fact that, you know, your body's built to survive, right? So our program is to get people, their body to start thriving on its abundant resource of the right foods, you know, the fueling themselves correctly with mental stuff as well. And uh, so that their body's in full thriving state rather than just surviving state. So it allows them to stand out amongst all the competition out there. There's so much competition, so many people talking about the same old stuff. And if you want to stand out in front of everyone, this is the number one way to do that. Mm -hmm. So what are some tips for the audience? Just when you're so busy and you've got a, a lot to do, maybe you don't have a big enough team, there's not enough hours in the day. What are some really high quality tips to implement all of this into life? Yeah, I think the biggest thing, uh, first it comes down to having a goal. Uh, you have to have a why. You have to have a goal that you're working towards. If you don't have a goal, you're just going to be living day-to-day life and, you know, a month will go by, three months will go by, and you're like, wow, I, I never got healthy. You know, you need to have a clear and specific goal that is going to challenge you and motivate you to do it, you know, whatever that may be for you. Uh, so first, really get clear on that. Um, if you're, you know, in a position right now, you know, maybe you're, you don't feel comfortable in your clothes anymore. You need to lose about 15, 20 pounds, you know, set that goal, set a timeline, you know, in five months from now, six months from now, I'm going to release this weight. Um, and I'm never going to find it again. You know, that's why we don't say lose weight. We say release weight because if you <laughs> lose something, you can always like find that. it. Yeah. So if you <laughs> release it, then it's not coming back. So have a clear goal. Um, the second thing is drink enough water in the day. Uh, right now we actually are doing a whole challenge with all of our clients on drinking, uh, eight ounces of water every single hour. So I know, for me, that's really easy to do. I've been drinking a lot of water. You know, I'm, that's just how I was raised. I just drank a ton of water my entire life. But for some of our clients, you know, they're drinking eight ounces to 32 ounces a day. And our body is made up of water. And if we aren't having enough water in our day, our, our cells aren't functioning right, our organs aren't functioning right, uh, we're going to have brain fog, we're going to be more hungry, our skin isn't going to be as clear, we're not going to be as strong. I mean, so many different benefits that water has on our life. So you're already drinking something already, replace that with water and just be consistent with it, you know, up it to, you know, every hour, just drinking that eight ounces of water, you know, you throw some lemon in there, throw some cucumbers. Uh, there's so many different things that you can do to incorporate more water in your day. And that's such a simple hack. Yeah. And I've found that if I have a bigger water bottle, then it encourages me to drink more rather than a small bottle and having to go get up every so often and fill it absolutely you need to have a water in front of you all the time that's what we have all our clients do they always have their favorite custom-made water bottle and they have it with them all the time because if you're dehydrated which 75 percent of people are so one out of four in every single room is dehydrated it de- if you're just de- dehydrated one to three percent so not severely dehydrated just a little bit you decrease your performance by five to ten percent so if, again, if it's all, it, it doesn't matter how much you work, right? Like I wouldn't care if I had someone work 24 hours a day that sold nothing. Like it just does not matter. But the thing that matters is what can they get done with the time that they have? And so if you can have more productivity yeah. with the time that you have and produce more results, that's all that matters at the end of the day. There's too many people out there trying to work 18 hours, 18 hour days that are getting four hours worth of work done. And it's because they don't have that mental clarity. They don't have that true purpose and they don't have that confidence to be able to take big strides and big leaps. And we believe we've cracked the code after working with 500 clients and having a hundred percent success rate. So what about incorporating exercise into that 18 hour day? Yeah, for us, we believe that nutrition and in mindset and what you're putting in your body is going to be the first stepping stone. Those are the stepping stones to a healthy lifestyle. Um, you can go, uh, Nicholas is the one who's come up with this and is just genius. You know, you can only go a few uh, minutes without breathing and then you die. So breathing is essential. You know, you have to get good at breathing. The second is water. You can only go a few days without drinking water. And then you can only go a certain amount of days without eating. 
So those are the core foundations. You can go a long time without working out. I mean, you've seen most people, you know, maybe they've never really worked out their entire life. So you can go your whole life without working out. So that is the last key to health and seeing a massive transformation in your life. Um, you know, you can't, when you start incorporating good nutrition in your body and start flushing out all of the toxins that are in your body and releasing fat, that'll then motivate you to go work out. That'll then motivate you to go to the gym to get active. So we are, you know, highly uh, supportive of working out. We just think that if someone, you know, eats fast food all day long, the first thing they need to do is first address the nutrition. And then, you know, maybe three months from now, then concentrate on working out. So, uh, you know, for us, we work out, uh, at least five days a week. Um, you know, but simple stuff like just, you know, doing, um, you know, a jog or walking, you know, we've had a couple clients that, you know, we've worked with them on the nutrition side of things. And then, you know, then they start walking every single day for, you know, two miles and they just start releasing more of the weight. And then now they feel comfortable to go into the gym. And that's what we're really all about because there's so many personal trainers out there that throw you in the weightlifting room and you have no flexibility and you're really not at that point to do all these crazy workouts yet. You know, you really have to build build yourself up to, to get to that point. Yeah. And I know even with me trying to eat healthy is a challenge sometimes with being busy and then it's the end of the day and I'm hungry and I didn't plan for dinner. And, you know, I opened the fridge and shoot, we don't have any food. So we end up getting takeout sometimes. And I really have to make an effort in meal planning and sitting down. Usually it's over the weekend and just kind of mapping out what the week is going to look like, what we need to purchase. And if you're in a metropolitan area, I love Amazon Fresh. You can sit down on the computer and go into Amazon Fresh and, you know, type in what you, what groceries you want and they can be at your door that afternoon or before dawn the next morning. And it cuts out that stress of going to the grocery store, the stress and the time of going to the grocery store and investing in the the craziness of that experience and getting a bunch of groceries. Absolutely. And what you said is like, we already know this. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And you don't prioritize your, your schedule, you schedule your priorities. And so when it comes down to it, um, with our clients and we could even do this live on the show if you want, um, you know, and this, this might be fun. And if you want to use it, you can, if not, that's okay. But what would you say your top three priorities in your life right now are according to your calendar, not according to your belief? Whoa, that's, that's speaking some truth right there. And I, I, I definitely don't have that in line. Well, what would you say that they are? Well, well, my top three priorities in life are my relationship with God and my relationship with family and my health. And uh, I'm embarrassed to say that I do have my workouts scheduled, but I don't have other times for my top two priorities scheduled. And so you don't work then? I do. So what does your calendar say? <laughs> so, okay, my my calendar, yes, my calendar prioritizes work. And I do have my workouts recorded in there. So I, people can't schedule meetings with me during that time. That's my workout time. And I set aside time every morning. I have a, a morning routine where I do stretches and exercises. Why while listening to the daily homily and some prayer, but that's not, that's, I don't think that's enough. And so I actually, this, this exercise has been really good for me too. <laughs> yeah. So this is what we bring a lot of our clients through. Cause I know that if, if your life can be lived according to what you actually want, which you're talking about, like your relationship with God, your relationship with family and relate like relationships in general and work wasn't even on your like priority list. Like you didn't even bring it up. <laughs> um, right. Like, so, but if our calendar isn't scheduled according to that, then we probably are failing all along. We're not really happy in general, uh, to the fullest that we could be. Of course, we're excited about everything that we're doing. Like people are generally excited about life, I hope. But the thing is, is that if we can figure out and make you the number one priority 
you working on your health and yourself and have an actual structure for that because a plan does matter. I was motivated. I was 60 pounds overweight and I had no plan. As soon as I found a plan, one kid brought it to me at school and showed me a plan and I executed on it, lost 50 pounds in six months. All I needed was the correct structure and plan and I was ready to motivated to execute on it. It sounds like you're already motivated, right? You're already going to the gym. You already have things scheduled. You're just doing the least impactful thing on your health as the number one priority, which is working yes. out, right? So if we can switch that around, make sure we build value around you growing, then you can show up better to your family, right? You have more energy, you have more mental clarity, you're able to give them full focus and then also in your work. So we know that we can accomplish all those different things through one thing called health, whereas going in and hanging out with your family and building relationship is great. It makes you happier when you go to work but it also doesn't improve your health, A, and it also doesn't go out and build your business for you. And building your business takes away from family. It might make you happier because you make more money and you can give more to your family and spend spend money and do things that are fun, but it doesn't give you motivation to go and improve your health. A lot of people lose their health with their business. You go and improve your health, it doesn't take that much time. You're already doing three out of four steps. You're already breathing every day, drinking every day, and eating every day, just the wrong things for the majority of people. And out of that, it impacts your business and it impacts your relationships and it impacts every area that you care about because if you can't show up 100%, then nothing is going to grow at 100%. Wow. That's, that's been really insightful and I'm glad that we did that exercise. And yeah, I have some things to work on too. So I'm... I'm sure everybody else in here does. Do you have any parting piece of guidance for us? Yeah, I mean, honestly, get some type of accountability. You know, at the end of the day, um, like we said, we're, we all live very busy lifestyles. We're all very motivated. We're all very driven. And, um, you know, to have accountability will keep you in line with your goals. You know, if you can have, you know, at the end of the day where you're like, man, I really told, you know, so-and-so that I was going to work out today or drink 160 ounces of water. And I've only drinking, you know, 120 of ounces of water today. I'm going to chug that extra 40 ounces, or I'm going to do that workout before I go to bed because I have to tell that person that I did it, you know? And that's why, you know, we as coaches work with so many people because they, they need that person. That's not just going to be, Oh yeah. Like check in every single week. You know, we check in all the time with all of our clients, you know, to, to give them that accountability that they need to, to keep them uh, accountable to what they said they were going to do. So find someone or, you know, get a coach, you know, like what we do, uh, so that you can really hit your goals, you know, to have that, um, support system is, is crucial, especially if you're, if you're really trying to, to hit a goal and you're really motivated and want to do it, you know, maybe you've tried diets in the past and they haven't worked because you haven't had that person there that's pushing you every single day to, to do it. So, that's what I would say. It's the biggest key. It's, um, you know, why we've been so successful. That's why all of our clients are so successful. Uh, so many diets work, so many different types of workouts work, but when you can have that coach there, that's helping you, it makes all the difference. Great. So thank you so much for being on here today. So where can people find you guys if they want to connect and tell us what's on your website? Yeah. So, uh, the best way to connect with us is probably, uh, via email. If you actually want to get a hold of us, um, you can email support at the true challenge.com and you can also reach us on Facebook, Nicholas and Amanda barely, uh, B A Y E R L E. And then we're also on Instagram and and Snapchat. So those are the best ways to get a hold of us. We post content all the time on there. So if you like what you heard on the interview today, uh, we post, you know, a few times a day, uh, some of our best strategies and our best tips. So make sure to follow us on there and let us know that you came from at Megan's podcast. And speaking of podcasts, you have a podcast too. Yeah, we do. Um, how bad do I want it? You can, uh, find that on iTunes and Stitcher. And then we also have it on our website, the true which is great by the way. It's on it's on my list of podcasts that I listen to. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet, Megan. Well, thank you. You're doing a, an amazing work here with this podcast. So thanks so much for having us on. Thank you for joining me and, and have a great day. Emua. You too. Well, thanks for hanging in with me that entire episode. Uh, why don't you go ahead and especially if you're a guy, again, drop in on their website. It's 
truechallenge.com slash webinar and you'll learn some little health secrets to just keep your life in balance why the busy tornado of life is swirling around you. So I have something else exciting for you today. A lot of you guys have been talking to me about, hey, I have this great idea and I just don't know how to bring it to market. Well, I have a solution for that. I'm launching an online course coming out this fall and I actually need your help. I need 10 beta testers to help me help me figure out what's best for everyone, give me some feedback on that course. So I'm opening it up at no charge in exchange for some feedback. So more details coming later, but if you're interested in it now, you can go ahead and text the word invention to 44222. Again, that's the word invention to 44222. And I'll let you know as soon as I have those applications ready. And I'll, I'll send you some video of inside the course. Well, until next episode, Emua! Mahalo for joining us. If you're new to riding the waves of medical device product development, or if you've been in development for a while already, Inspired by Amua is here to surf with you. Want to be a master of the waves? Text HANG10, that's H-A-N-G-T-E-N, to 44222. We'll send you the most common wipeouts companies make in product development so you can avoid them and reach master wave status. Again, that's HANG10 to 44222. We publish a new episode every Tuesday, so catch us at inspiredbyamua.com. Emua! Emua!